These pictures were taken on Sunday, the 30th of October 2022, at a local time of 5.20 p.m. NASA's inside solar panels are covered in dust. The spacecraft isn't expected to last longer than a few weeks. InSight landed on Mars back in November 2018 with the goal of studying the planet's interior in unprecedented detail, and to this day, it can be said that the lander's mission has been a total success, having detected more than 1300 Mars quakes, the largest of which was of magnitude 5, and thus providing a better understanding of how old rocky worlds form, including Earth and the Moon. It even recorded quakes from meteoroid impacts. Scott Manley has a really cool video on his channel talking about this event in case you want to know more. But alas, the end is nigh for the Inside Mars lander. In a recent update, NASA officials have said that the spacecraft's power generation continues to decline as more and more dust keeps settling on its solar panels, slowly but surely preventing it from absorbing most of the energy coming from the sun. The end is expected to come in the next few weeks. The dust buildup got really bad this summer, so that the mission team had to turn off most of InSight's other instruments to keep its seismometer running. We were down to less than 20% of the original generating capacity, InSight's principal investigator Bruce Barnard said. That means we can't afford to run the instruments around the clock. During a more recent storm, the situation got so bad that the team had even to turn off the lander's seismometer to save power. Now that the storm has settled, the instrument is back on, but unfortunately it will run out of power in the next few weeks. On the bright side, InSight has far outlasted its primary mission lifetime of two Earth years, which is a little over one Martian year. And now the most important of the final steps of the mission will be to store its trove of data and make it accessible to researchers around the world. NASA will declare the mission officially over once InSight misses two check-ins with the spacecraft orbiting the red planet, which are used to relay its information back to Earth. But even after that, NASA's deep space network of radio dishes will continue to listen just in case the lander calls back home. Sometimes Mars missions get lucky with a gust of wind blowing away some of the dust from the solar panels, so who knows, maybe fate has something in store for InSight. Currently there is no rescue plan for InSight, it will have to stay in this desolate place for at least some time. I imagine it will be recovered by humans sometime later in this century and put in a Martian museum of sorts. But until then, InSight will have to remain in almost absolute loneliness. I say almost because there are of course other robots actively running around on the planet like Perseverance and Curiosity. The team's focus in the coming weeks will be squeezing as much science as possible out of InSight until the final signal is sent. Now you may be wondering why NASA didn't equip InSight with a dust cleaning device, like a brush for example, or a mechanism through which the solar panels could be rotated upside down, thus letting gravity take care of the dust. Well, the main reason is that the mission had a strict cost cap, and any additional system or moving part would have increased not only the overall cost but also the weight of the spacecraft and while well, in regulatory more weight equals more expensive. So at the end of the day the reality is that NASA just decided that the cost to mitigate the dust problem on Mars wasn't worth the money. Now once SpaceX's Starship begins missions to Mars I expect costs to be much less of a problem which will hopefully hopefully give way to a lot more science being able to be conducted on the red planet. And of course, this shouldn't be that difficult to expand to other celestial bodies, like our moon or Saturn's moons. So should this indeed be the last images we will ever see from InSight, I shall admit that my heart aches with sorrow, but also that I'm equally happy for all the science it has enabled researchers to conduct in what will hopefully soon become our second celestial home, or third. Thanks for watching, take care, see you soon, bye bye.